Hi everyone, this is Arganjali. It's been such a long time, but I haven't really had anything to talk to you guys about in several months. Uh, today I wanted to share with you a box opening, a really special box opening, because this is one of the last dolls that's been on my wish list. And I mean, I say it every time that I make one of these videos that it's gonna be my last box opening, but this really might be my last box opening. So who is this mystery doll? It's Mini Dolphy Dream Ilya. And this is pretty much the only Mini Dolphy Dream that I've ever wanted. And it's taken a while to get her because she's quite old and hard to find. And not, besides that, she's also usually heavily marked up when I find her. So I, she was recently listed on the Dolphy Dreams forum for a very, very good price. And I had her shipped to my friend Bob Thank you, Bob, who came up to visit uh, around American Thanksgiving and he brought her up. So I've had her for a little while now, but a few things um, have happened, which is why this video has taken so long. For one thing, he wasn't able to bring her box, so I had to bring her box up when I went to visit him in San Francisco a couple weeks ago. But now she's complete and we can do a real box opening. Um, because this is something that I've purchased secondhand from someone, um, I mean, I was told in the listing that there's no stain and there's no yellowing, um, but you never know. So this might be a surprise for all of us as we do this together. So the mini Dolphy Dreams come in this little pink box instead of the yellow cardboard box. And Ilya's um, box is pretty simple other than the sticker identifying her. And there's also a sticker on the bottom of the box, um, but nothing on the top. Um, it's rather unremarkable and I'm trying to see if there's a year for the, of the copyright on here um, and I don't see one so I'm, I'll have to uh, put in the comments later or the uh, description exactly how old she is. But she's, gosh, at least five years old at, uh, offhand so I'm going to pull, pull her stuff out first and so here's her wig. and uh, what looks like her outfit. And her shoes and her paperwork. So because this is secondhand, it's not coming, you know, brand new shrink wrap, but you know, as long as it's all here, I'm okay with that. And I'm not crazy. I'm smelling cigarette smoke. Um, in the box, and this is this worries me a bit um, because cigarette smoke and dolls usually don't get along. Okay, so she's caught. She's on her original cardboard, and oops, see how floppy that is. The original mini doll free dream body, which is we refer to it as the MDD two in the community. It's uh, kind of floppy like that. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, she smells pretty bad. She smells quite heavily of smoke. Yeah. Okay, interestingly enough, the head doesn't smell nearly as uh, strongly, but it also could be because the body is um, a different vinyl. It's more porous, whereas this is one of the old uh, Volks Dolphy Dreams, so the head cap is really solid. It's not one of the new squishy ones, but I'm gonna bring her up close and hopefully the camera will autofocus and you can get a good look at her little face. Okay, so let's have a, I'm gonna check her joints while I've got her. She's got good elbows. Uh, her waist is good. Her knees, I mean, she's a bit floppy, but at least when I hold them, hold her legs straight up, they don't completely fall down. So I can probably tighten the knee joint and I can make a little tutorial doing that if you want later on. Um, but she's got good ankles. Um, the mini Dolphy Dream is known to have quite floppy ankles. So that's a good sign. Um, and yeah, there's no staining on the body.
body that I see. And she's she's in pretty good condition. There's no stains and there are there's no yellowing. But um yeah, she's kind of stinky. So I mean, hang on a minute. I'm gonna check up the rest of her stuff and see if it all smells as well because this will be a bit of a process to deodorize if that's the case. So this is her little her wig and it's unique in that it doesn't have bangs. Most doll wigs do have a bit of uh, fringe in the front. It helps disguise the head, the forehead rather. Okay, I don't smell anything here, which is good. So this is one of, this is just her little, her paperwork here. So I will show this. It just shows all the little bits that she's included with. Um, I was aware uh, in the listing that she is missing her default underpants, her little white panties, but they're quite they're quite basic, so I can replace those. Oh, these don't smell, that's good. I can replace her uh, underwear quite easily from Cool Powder or Volks or something. It's not a big deal. Um, right now I'm a little bit more concerned about the cigarette smoke smell, so as long as Okay, so the outfit and the wig don't smell. This is good, this is good, guys. Um, because having to try to stain treat, I, I'm not even sure how I would stain treat, a, I mean, not stain treat, um, smell treat? How I would deodorize a wig in an outfit. So I'm glad that I don't have to deal with that. So, so I'll dress her up for you guys so you can uh, see her and meet her. And, uh, I guess I'm going to have to make a new video at some point just to document how I'm going to deodorize this body. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to slip her little skirt on. And This fastens with a zipper and there's a little loop. Um, there's a bit of loose thread happening. Oh, you know what? This is not loose thread. It's basting. Um, it's a basting stitch along the pleats, along the bottom of the skirt to kind of keep everything in place. Um, if I were to actually use this outfit, I would and like display it properly, I would remove that. But since I'm not sure that I will be displaying it with Lilia, in her default outfit. I'll leave that on for now, but I've never seen Volks, um, I've never seen that on a Volks outfit, so that's kind of interesting. Hello, you. All right, I'm gonna remove her hands. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't tell you how badly this body smells. So I'm not gonna leave her in this outfit for too long, um, just in case the smell, I don't know, permeates the outfit. And yeah, vi I mean, vinyl dolls, this is one of the things that vinyl owners have to deal with. And I mean, I'm not judging anyone if they do smoke. It's just that if you do smoke around your dolls, they will absorb the smells. Smell. And also nicotine can cause yellowing of dolls. So if you do smoke, um, I would suggest not doing it indoors or keep your dolls in a completely separate space um, because the smell is quite pervasive and it can get into everything. That's her little cravat. Put her hands back on. Her little boots. So these just do up in the back uh, with a zipper. Uh, they are completely black inside, so hopefully these don't stain her feet. But again, I'm not gonna 
keep her in them for more than a little bit. Just for maybe a few pictures. Unfortunately, it's the start of winter here in Canada, in Toronto, and it's been snowing, it's cold, so I don't really want to go outside to take any photos. Because it's rather troublesome, I need to get my coat and my boots and everything, and it's just not my favorite thing to do. Alright, so this wig, you know, considering it's been or shipping, it's actually in pretty good condition. Let me just give it a quick brush. Do you like my little Hello Kitty Tangle Teaser? So funny thing about these Tangle Teasers, Volks has been selling them on their um, online store for a few months now. And I even saw them at the Volks showrooms when I was in Japan recently, in Osaka and in Tokyo. Um, but you can get these at the drugstore. You can get them at, I've seen them at Sephora, I've seen them at, the, at CVS in the US, I've seen them at Shoppers Drug Mart, uh, I've seen them at Boots in the UK, I've even seen them at Sasa in Hong Kong. So it, depending on where you're located, you can find them probably for a little cheaper than, um, than Volks is selling them. Oh my goodness, this girl is so, so cute. All right, so let's meet little Ilya. So that's her rather adorable face. And here you can see what I was talking about with the basting stitch. So it's not actually a loose thread, it's just holding holding the pleats in place. And her cute little boots. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'm gonna have to deodorize this body and that'll be its own video. Uh, but I will talk to you guys soon. And in case I don't make a new video until 2017, Happy holidays, happy new year, and see you soon. Thanks for watching.